Michael. Yar. Child bomb it. Hey, Zay, you ready to get into this movie? Yeah, I just wish I had ice cream, you know? What do you mean? We're about to watch a movie. You don't need ice cream. We're doing a reaction. Yeah, we know it would be a perfect flavor. What? A, a, a hot fuzz sundae. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Cam, and this is Zay. And today, we are getting into the second movie in the Cornetto trilogy. Previously, we did Shaun of the Dead, and today, we are getting into Hot Fuzz. This will be our reaction to it. This is a movie that both Zay and I have never seen before. Uh, don't know too much about this movie other than Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, Edgar Wright, and, and Buddy Cop comedy. It's pretty much all I know about this movie. Um, I don't even know what it's rated. Uh, it is a bit longer than Shaun of the Dead, but other than that, uh, Zay, what do you know about this movie before we get into it? Uh, I really don't know anything about this movie. I knew m more about Shaun of the Dead, which I knew nothing about than I do about this. I've heard of Hot Fuzz, um, but yeah, kind of same boat as you. Don't really know any, don't know, you know, what genre it is technically, what's rated, I guess. Like, I really don't have any info on it, so super excited to get into it. Yeah, me too. Um, I, I have heard of this referenced quite a bit before or not referenced but like i've heard the name quite a bit and i've heard mm -hmm. and i've seen it around like on youtube thumbnails and stuff so i know that this movie is like you know people enjoy a lot but i i don't even know if i know any like memes or lines from it or anything like that so yeah we'll have to see uh what it's all about uh if you guys like what you're watching leave a like down below subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already and if you want to watch our full length reaction to this and various other movies as well as get free edited movie reactions ahead of youtube you can check that out on patreon the link for that is in the description let's not keep you guys waiting any longer let's get into hot fuzz police constable nicholas angel okay 2001 began active duty with the renowned so-19 armed response unit oh uh, he's living the dream then huh yeah in the last 12 months has received nine special commendations wow not where I expected that to go, you know. No, I thought we were gonna get like a twenty-one Jump Street type of. That's Father Christmas. Oh. oh, we're making you sergeant. I see. Oh shoot! Ooh. In Sanford, Gloucestershire. That's in the country. Yes. Lovely. Oh no. Mm. Can I remain here as a PC? No. Do <laughs> I have any choice in this? New. No. <laughs> The audacity. If we let you carry on running around town, you'll continue to be exceptional, and we can't have that. What the heck? That's crazy. You can't just make people disappear. Yes, I can. I'm the chief inspector. <laughs> and that's what the team is going to make of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, they tell you sometimes it might not be a good idea to be too good at your job because they'll either want to get rid of you or keep you in that position forever. Mm -hmm. Two people involved, distinct signs of a struggle, a complete mess. You are talking about here. Nicholas, what do you want? <laughs> Janine, I've been transferred. I'm moving away for a while. Well, I'm not Janine. <laughs> <laughs> that long ago, we were talking about getting married. Yes, but you were already married to the force, weren't you? We're actually supposed to call it the service now. Oh, no. Now's um, not the time. Is it Bob? No. <laughs> Does Bob look like the kind of person I'd go out with? <laughs> oh, Nicholas. The tone you is really that window was broken from the inside. Yeah. Oh. It's very, it's very, like, dramatic and emotional with just, like, punches of comedy, mm -hmm. like, in between. Check in. Check in? But you've always been here. Excuse me. Huh? What? I thought you were my husband. You must be Sergeant Angel. <laughs> okay. That freaked me out. Yeah. It took give me shining vibes for a second there. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Leave oh, alone. Oh 
lord, I just realized what he's realizing. Yeah. When's your birthday? 22nd of February. What year? Every year. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> When's your birthday? <laughs> out. <laughs> I hope you're not planning on driving that. No. I just really want to hear it. <laughs> oh, yep. Yep. Oh, shit. Having a walk of like that is. <clears throat> what? Oh, you better get more hands. <laughs> when did you start? Tomorrow. Oh, well, I see you've already arrested the old village. <laughs> you in for the night? No, oh, I'm forest free. Hey, now I need to speak to him. <laughs> he just has a, a, a registered cot in there. There's like, ah, oh, yeah, go stay in that cell. <laughs> Morning, Everyone's so friendly. I want to go to a small town like this. My discount's a criminal. Catch me later! That was a great ad. <laughs> great plug. Yes? The inebriate in cell four. I don't know. Nobody tells me nothing. <laughs> what? Just drops from the ceiling. <laughs> Bodies him. It's like Spider-Man. Yeah. He's Oh, who's gone? Oh, <laughs> no. Oh. You've already met my boy. Oh. Yeah. And he's the son. Yeah, this is going to be great. That is Sergeant Tony Fisher. Square box. PC Bob Walker. PC Bob Walker. Huh? I don't know what he said. <laughs> this is Tom Weaver. Civilian liaison with the neighborhood watcher. Line. Well, I know the office was started in the British... Uh, it was a British show at first. This might have been where it originated from. <laughs> a living statue was here Saturday. 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. The picture's the same. You see me more taking no better. Can I get a trick later? <laughs> <laughs> I heard you city boys. <laughs> Ever been in high speed pursuit? Yes, I have. Never fired a gun whilst in high speed pursuit. No. Yeah, look at his arse. What about lethal weapon? This reminds me of um, Spider Man when uh, Ned found out that who Spider Man was. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Can you can you shoot webs out of your butt? Like, can you do this or can you yeah, control an army? Spiders, like all that kind of stuff. Would you read a homily at Sunday service? Uh, that might be a little hypocritical of me, Reverend. Oh, you're an atheist. Uh. I'm just not entirely convinced by it. You're an agnostic. I think I have a cream for that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, get me out of here. <laughs> well, all that remains is Probably to welcome like you to the weekly meeting of the Neighborhood Watch. Alliance. Especially with how tight the community is. Yeah, like they all yeah. know each other. They all. Yeah. I am sure that all of you will have noticed the return of a blight to our streets. Extremely irritating living statue. <laughs> <laughs> that had me so in it. I was just like, what is this? Like, what is this? Here it comes. Like, here it comes. Yeah. And then it's fucking. The statue guy. Oh. Hey, that won't be. Morning angle. Morning angle. Ah, uh, just the fall. Just the fall of the hero. Mm-hmm. The swan's escaped. Yeah. Right. And where's the swan escape from exactly? Uh, the castle. Mr. Peter Ian Staker. P.I. Staker. Yeah. Right. Piss Taker. Come on! Yes, Mr. Staker. <laughs> It was real. <laughs> Long, slender neck. Yeah. Kind of orange and black bill. Oh, gosh, are we about to get a wild swan it's chase here? Got like. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, Wait, no, we we actually are. <laughs> Why did he pull up the nightstick? Like... <laughs> Michael! Yarr. <laughs> 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 What is wrong with Michael? Oh, no. 
That's the fridge magnet. His name's George Merchant, made a fortune in kitchen goods. I was talking about him. Ah. Oh. Excuse me. All right, it's on. And he's... Will he be any use? That's the real question here. Or is Maybe. he going to completely fuck it Not up? Not intentionally, but he might, like, fall or something in front of him. I don't know. There's the statue guy. Bro, if the statue tripped him, I would have laughed my ass off. <laughs> That. Glad the watch is watching. <laughs> They're doing exactly <laughs> what their name is. You mothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which one do you oh. choose? Oh. You gotta pick the bigger of two evils on that one. Yeah, you gotta get the you gotta get the swan. Escape <laughs> castle. No shot. You do not have to say anything. That pain can must have been full. Full to, with like extra heavy too. I don't know why <laughs> they knocked him out. Hey, Mr. Skidder doesn't want to press charges. What do you mean he doesn't want to press charges? I'm simply suggesting oh. that uh, young Peter be given a second chance. I'm sure he's going to learn a valuable lesson. Stealing biscuits is... That might have been a message to him. Yeah. Like... Your lesson is this. You might be authority, but you're not power. Yeah. You'd understand that it's not all about gunfights and car chases. <laughs> oh. I was oh. waiting for that. I was waiting for oh, like it. Someone's got to be cooking, right? That thing was loud. We are staging a homage to William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. I'm a little late for the dress rehearsal. Oh, that's a pity. Here's your ticket. <laughs> that's what I would have <laughs> Oh, where are you here? Now, Mr. Blower left you tickets for Romeo and Juliet tonight. Said it was by way of an apology. We can't accept gifts from somebody we've officially rebuked, so... Wondered if you wouldn't mind representing us at the Amdrams tonight. Hmm. Well, not getting out of that one. Uh... Thought he got away with it, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she'd have wings. Okay, hold on. Go to sleep, Juliet. Bang! Wait. That's not even... <laughs> that's... No, that's not close to the actual <laughs> story. Absolute tosh, wasn't it? And annoyingly, the understudies are actually... Yeah, this dude's giving me bad vibes. Yeah. Eve works in the local council, Sergeant. Sure, if we bashed your head in, all sorts of secrets would come tumbling out. <laughs> bad vibes, you say, Zay? No, oh, never mind. Good vibes. Feel that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's the most normal thing in a conversation I've ever heard. Oh yeah, he's just flirting. <laughs> I'm sure if I just, you know, bashed your head in. <laughs> she clearly has a thing for older men. I too have reason to believe she favors the older gent. Really? How so? Marcus Carton's big brother said he'd fingered her up the duck pond. <laughs> He has been a menace in both movies, one way or awesome another. Else. He's great at it, though. Drive safe. Oh, my God. You know, that's a bloke we done for speeding earlier. <laughs> oh, who the oh. fuck is this? Who is that? Decaffeinated. Oh, no. oh snap. Okay. There never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her. He's definitely suspect number one or two on my yeah. list. News travels fast. I love Scrub Romeo. Seeing the streets of... His name, his name also like is Skinner. In yeah. Yeah. I ain't Charles Young. I couldn't see the view anymore. Was he Mombo? There's two of them now. <laughs> no, wait, who? That's Walder Frey. <laughs> is it really? I yeah. didn't recognize him. Trust you have a license for that firearm. I don't for this one. Does for this one? He does for this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a bigger asset than we initially thought, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he's a good translator. We need the middleman. The other guy is the middleman. Because he yeah. has to say it, too. Oh, my goodness gracious. He has more firearms than the, than the police. There's a lot of junk.
Get out of there. Oh my gosh. There's a load of junk. <laughs> it, it just starts. Uh oh. You no, apparently it's been deactivated over. That's right. Deactivate. <laughs> <laughs> what say we drink to their demise? Shouldn't that be drink to their memories? Of course. Demise. This bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, he'll be in bits tomorrow. That's like. That was that a confession? Oh, good grief. Wow. There you go. Yeah. And there's your change. God bless you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that man is inebriated. Oh, Lord. Bro, I oh. literally have ring videos of me like going up on my porch and be like, oh. <laughs> And one step back, like, whoa. <laughs> if we didn't have a railing on my porch, I would fall like <laughs> so many times off of it. Oh, oh, all right, man's about to get what did you move in? Decapinated. I mean, he at least he bopped him on the head first. Yeah, he said, Which one do you want to watch first? You are pulling my leg. No, but he's pulling his leg. I'm sorry. You're not making beans, toast, and bacon right now. Oh, uh, they're gonna what? Framing it? What are they gonna like? Frame it as a house explosion or something? Uh, yeah, because he's got gas. I was really hoping they wouldn't just continue to spoil the movie, but I guess. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll forget about that. <laughs> Man, they have a menace on the loose. Oh. Yeah, I did. Oh, Lord. Tried to have a little fry up and left the gas on. Because the best part is that he was drunk, so it's an easy way to frame it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cocks. So... Jesus. What do we read? <laughs> what did you say? Did you hear him? <laughs> no, what did he say? He said cocks. <laughs> 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 it's like he's teasing him, yeah. taunting him, basically. Yeah. If you didn't see anything suspicious, and who did? <laughs> <laughs> that comeback. That was, that was funny. Yeah, that was yeah. really funny. <laughs> I need to talk to you about George Merchant, Elaine. The churchyard, three o'clock. Uh, I don't like I could just we could talk right over there yeah. like right now you got like, why like do we have to wait till three <laughs> the first, first name, name is Simon Skinner <laughs> well that feels rigged Tim Messenger oh no That was crazy. Nicholas. Yeah, I mean, I knew he, I knew he was gonna get crushed, but I didn't know it was gonna like impale him from the top. Yeah. George Merchant secured permission to build his dubious mansion on Norris Avenue. Maybe they were all accidents. Oh. That is, that is oh, not that where worked. he was trying to lead you. You going somewhere, Miss Tiller? Uh, yes. I'm moving away. Well, George Merchant got dressed and wanted to buy this land and tells me this land is very valuable. Ten times what George Merchant and Martin Blower got dressed and offered me. Stop saying that. It's throwing me off. Mm hmm. <laughs> Just one second. So I caught I caught a good amount of that. Do you think yeah. our accents are just sometimes ununderstandable? Oh shit! Get him! Go! Do not let him go! Oh, no. 
go, 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 go. Come on. I'm Keep sorry. Going. Did they shape shift? How'd they get to that hole? Like, they must have died. There hasn't been a recorded murder in Santa for 20 years. That's because you guys don't record in. Yeah, I was murders. about to say, there's probably been plenty of murders. I know who did it. Oh, well, I wouldn't they, have committed this harm. Yeah, but without evidence. Simon Skinner, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Leslie Tiller. She tripped and fell on her own shears. Ow! I thought that was going <laughs> to, like, impale him for some reason. I thought he was going to be like... <laughs> you even spoke of bashing her head in. Perhaps hoping you might discover the route of the proposed Sanford bypass. You were already suspicious. The only problem with this theory is that it's too obvious. Like, uh, somebody who would make something that obvious probably isn't at fault because they would be hiding it more. He probably just said the wrong things. These accusations are quite meaningless, Sergeant, unless you can back them up with hard evidence. Yeah. It's a wound you sustained on a piece of broken glass this very evening. This very evening. Mm. Oh, well, okay. This is going to make me cringe. I hate stuff like this. Security footage will absolve me. Do feel free to spool through. Uh, I hate, I hate how if he is innocent, he's like smiling and stuff. Like, yeah. Ugh. Sergeant, I wanted you to know that if I do indeed now own the land belonging to. Oh my gosh. Belonging to Leslie, that I intend to turn it into a memorial. Thing is, Yard. The Yard guy is the Hound. Wait. <laughs> Jog on. Michael. He is. <laughs> Maybe he's not alone. Maybe there are others. Nicholas, sleep on it. And if you still feel the same in the morning, I give you my word. I'd be like, okay, woke up. Yeah, instantly. Still, yeah. <laughs> I love the camera shots and the transitions. Such mm. still like head direct. Oh shoot. Pull off the hood. Ooh. Oh. Oh! Yeah. It was your... It's yours, what? What the heck is that supposed to do? Hey, Biggin. Playtime's over. Damn! Everything okay? Nope. Yarp. Yep. <laughs> nope. Narp. To the castle. I can't believe that worked. Yarp. He said yarp. <laughs> Narp. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Scared the hell out of me. If I need this. Thanks, partner. I hope he's got something to like knock him out again if he wakes up. Just gotta give him the monkey. Let's play with it. I think. <laughs> Is this not whole night watch? It is. Tenacious Sergeant Angel has been taken care of. Joyce will discover that. Is that why he told him to go to like sleep on it? Maybe. Crazy. Nothing will stand in our way. Oh, I bet to differ, Mr. Weaver. I see we have visitors. Definitely should have something to record it or something, though. Or back up. It's all about the greater good. The greater good. How can this be for the greater good? The greater good. Oh, gosh. Oh, I guess the chief wasn't involved in this. Mm. Eve deserved to die, too. Oh, she did have a very annoying laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Criminal. Hello, Nicholas. Oh, he is in on it. Bro. That is why he told him to go sleep on it. Whatever the cost, we would make Sanford great again. It's not great under those conditions. Right. He's saying this is all about winning the best village award. This is the best village, Nicholas. I've seen the people. They're happy. 
because you didn't kill them. What about the ones that died? Right. And I'm afraid you're going to have to come with me. You are all going to have to come with me. What, are they just going to get up and go? Yeah, like, they're outnumber you. Yeah, oh, you my goodness. A lot more backup or oh, no. Wait, what? Back off, back off! Bro, this is insane. This is nutty. I was not expecting that twist right no. there either. Oh, oh, oh shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. They're horrible. If we don't come down hard on these clubs. Wait, he might still be alive. <laughs> he kind of looks like he might still be alive. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. What the fuck? Sociopath. Ta -da. Oh, it was, it was fake. That just said it was his special clubby. I thought it was about. Uh, oh. <laughs> You've got to help me take him down. Come, Miss Sanford. This is crazy. What do you do? Do you, do you, you have three options. Do you just go home? Do you go back to the town and try to stop yourself? Or do you try to get help and see if anybody believes? There's no way you're going to stop by yourself because you literally have nothing on your side. That's literally, that would literally just be suicide. Well, you, Even if you go oh, home bet, yeah. and try to bring people back again, like he said, they're just going to clean it all up. Yeah. And then it's like, how do you prove it? Like, he's, that's why I was hoping he had, like, something to record some audio or, yeah. like, if he had something like that. Oops. Now, good luck with that, buddy. Mom! Oh, oh shoot. Yes! Oh, brother. <laughs> oh. Morning. Oh, oh shoot! Oh, they said everyone's strapped to the teeth in this town. Oh, my goodness, though. Well, they're going to mess up the town one way or another. Oh, they are all oh. strapped. Oh. 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 I think so. I don't think he actually wants to kill anyone. Oh my goodness. Pop. <laughs> Just kick her bike over. Throw a rock in the side. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hey. Stop this, please. Let us stop this mind. You're going to get shot, buddy. I'm sorry. You're oh. done. You may not be a man of God, but surely you're a man of peace. Nah. But I know right. And I know wrong. Oh. Fuck off, grasshopper. <laughs> oh my god, you got the wrist pistols. <laughs> nice. Drop him. Why'd you cock at it? Did you shoot it already? All right. Shell cannon. Ah! That was genius. I can't believe that worked. I don't know. That was was that intentional? I don't think it was, but if it was, that was genius. If it wasn't, that's sick. You're a doctor. Deal with it. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that was badass. <laughs> oh, gotta go for the pub. Hey! <laughs> If they throw a match in there, will it burn the place up, or...? They're shooting a lot of the bottles, even after they duck. Ooh. And that is some not reliable cover right there. I'd be yeah, shitting myself like... if I was hiding behind that. I'd be praying. 
No. Danny, step away from the sergeant. No, Dad. Danny. That was insane. Brainwashed into naivety by an old man with a murderous obsession. It's only now that I'm starting to realize how ridiculous it all is. <laughs> He's about to pop your balls right there. You know, I'm glad. If she could see what you've become, I think she's probably... That is an unstable face. He's <laughs> like... <laughs> 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 They've lulled everyone into thinking this is a perfect village and killed anyone who's threatened to change that. Oh, yeah, he's awesome, yeah. <laughs> Give him a second. Just, I guess, just give him a chance to run away. That was, I thought like some crazy shit was about to happen with that. Wait here. Don't go in on your own. Don't worry. He knows what he's doing. Is that your? That man's got something going on upstairs. I think it's the lack of something going on upstairs. Bro, what is that glass in the front made out of? Is it bulletproof glass to house deli meat? It could be. <laughs> to house deli meat? <laughs> well, it's it's Skinner's it's... Deli. <laughs> oh, no. Nice. Oh, he's asleep. Has looked. Uh, he's in the freezer. Did you say cool off? No, I didn't say anything, actually. Shame. Yeah, I should have said cool off. Yeah. Or chill out. Mm. Mm-hmm. A battering ram made out of shopping cart? That broke the glass. That just made me so mad. <laughs> it just got me so... Oh. Damn! Set her flying, too. Bang, bang. <laughs> bang, bang. Okay. He can have that. Yes! It was good he didn't catch the swan. I wanted to see it land, honestly. So did I. Grab it. Yes. Oh, oh they're going to use it? Well, it's still that missing. That going to start attacking them. Like, like dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just starts biting people. Hey, kid's got balls having a gun pointed to you and still biting him. Kick, yeah, for real. God, I hate that. I hate. I it. hate it's in, in so many fight sequences. Okay. Hmm. That's what I'm talking about. What is that? Oh, is that a knife? A box cutter? <laughs> I think it's a box cutter. Oh, he's dead. He's oh, yeah. No. Ah. That's an accident. Now that's the first accident we've seen. It's over, Danny. Serves him right because it, I it, I think it was the same pillar that he pushed. Yeah, I think so. Oh, he's not even dead. No, that wouldn't kill you. I mean, not until you bleed out. There's plenty of ice cream at the station. Isn't that right, Danny? Stay back! How did that even happen, Danny? <laughs> how? I'll tell you how this is going to end! Oh, so I just want the swan to do something really bad. Oh, is it gonna? Yeah. Okay, there's the reference like, to the movie yeah. we haven't seen. Awesome, perfect. And there's a metaphor for what's happening to the village currently. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, dude, that thing came up like... <laughs> 
<laughs> shit was like <laughs> <laughs> oh we need you back the figures have gone a little squiffy in your absence it has to be said no shit oh. i kind of like it here besides we have to do a considerable amount of paperwork <laughs> Menaces. Oh, dude, the guy he with the, the bear, bear trap, trap is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. A bloody busybody. All right, is he going to die again? <laughs> Deactivated. Oh, God. No, no, it just never primed. Oh. Did everyone die? That sea mine might have just killed everybody. Hang on! Everything's gonna be fine. Please, no. Wow. Come on. Just when I was like, this is gonna be good, like, nice. Happy resolution. Hope these are okay. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, for his father, okay. Oh my god. Oh, dude. I couldn't oh, no. have taken Not his father, Oscar's mom. His... I couldn't have taken that heartbreak if he just Yeah. I mean I can do whatever he wants. Jeez. <laughs> Cranking Yui's in the town square is insane. Wow. That was awesome. Okay. Okay. That was our reaction to hot. Buzz. If you liked what you were watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. If you want to watch a full-length reaction to this and get uh, or various other movies and get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube, you should check that out on Patreon. The link for that is in the description. Wow, I really like this one. I like this one more than Shaun of the Dead. Um, yes. This was super, super, super engaging, and the payoff was unbelievably satisfying. Um, I will say a relatively slow start but i feel like the start was kind of necessary and really kind of getting us on board with the main mm. character and kind of understanding his predicament i think they did a really good job at at like really delving into like the serious like tones of um his life and and in i mentioned this in reaction i don't know if I made the edit but they got really they did really good at the emotional moments as well um, while still having really funny moments kind of interspersed throughout. Huge, uh. huge uh, Edgar Wright tone uh, throughout the movie. You could feel his vibe with the transitions and the editing and the directing and everything. So absolutely love to see that again. Super excited for the next one in the trilogy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I thought that the, I thought it was I thought the jokes I thought overall, like <clears throat> the jokes hit more than in Shaun of the Dead, but mm. but in Shaun of the Dead there were also probably more hard hitting jokes. But okay. like like I think I laughed harder than I laughed like I think I laughed harder in Shaun of the Dead than I laughed harder in this. But I think I laughed more in this than I laughed in Shaun of the Dead. So I okay. think there were more frequent jokes, um, and really entertaining. But they did a really good job at setting up this kind of um mystery it was almost like where is this movie going at first like is he just kind of you know stuck in this town is he gonna like help the police force become better or something in a way he did that too but there was also this huge mystery afoot with murder and everything and they really did a good job at keeping you guessing and throwing in like they like you were like oh it's obviously this guy because he's acting suspicious right. but then you're like that maybe it's too suspicious maybe it's not that guy and then you're like maybe it is the guy it's like oh it's not that guy but oh it's all of them so they did a really good job at kind of like with the twists and paying off all the um setups that they had it's something where you can like go back and you'll always watch it in a different way now that you know the culprits but um it still made the first watch really fun i could even see watching this again it being fun being able to like pick up on the clues that that they set up as well it was really cool to see some familiar faces throughout we noticed like a couple game of thrones actors and of course, we got the Simon Pegg and Nick Frost duo, which they killed it again. Their chemistry is absolutely great. Um, I loved the character of Nick Frost in this one way more than I did in Shaun of the Dead. He was very, like, this <laughs> annoying character Shaun of the Dead. This one, he was kind of just like, you know, 
he's just a small town, yeah, kind of, you know, guy trying to be a be a cool cop and stuff like that. And yeah. wow, did they really go hard in that third act? I thought that was so much fun. Uh, getting that super action, it it really really tied everything together, and it was a very exhilarating uh, third act. Now, overall, I really really enjoyed the movie. I loved the act progression from from it being slow uh, character. Uh, development and num and first act, and then we get that mystery in the second act, and then this payoff and crazy action third act. Overall, really loved the movies. Hey, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I agree with you. I liked this um a lot more than Shaun of the Dead. I think that um because you kind of mentioned, I think that one thing, I think a reason I liked it better than Shaun of the Dead is like there was still that comedy aspect. Yeah, we laughed harder in Shaun of the Dead, but the story was way more engaging to me. Yeah. I was way more invested in the story. Even though the, the beginning was a little bit slow, like that second and third act where like we really started to dive into the mystery of like what's going on was very, very, very well done. Um, the action was super dope. Um, and I, I, honestly, it kind of caught me off guard. I know in the beginning we, we were saying like, oh, if, if they made the cut, like, oh, we thought it was going to be more like a, uh, you said like a 21 Jump Street. And I was like, yeah. yeah. And then it kind of did eventually start to like move over into that type of vibe. But it just took some time getting there. Um, and I also loved the references, obviously, to Shaun of the Dead, like, obviously, the, the Cornetto ice cream. There was the fence hopping scene. Um, and just, yeah, yeah. and then, like, even with them going to the pub, like, there was a lot, there's a lot of similar themes that played throughout this film, but in its own unique way. So it kept it in its own domain. It doesn't feel like a copy and paste type of thing. Um, I thought the characters were super, super well done. Great eyes for the Game of Thrones characters, because I wouldn't have noticed it. But when you said it, I was like, oh, my God, that is them. Like, holy cow. Um, it's been a while since you watched that too. So, um, but overall, yeah, I mean, the movie was super, super well done. I'm makes me interested to see how the last installment fares, like where I'll rank them. Um, in my opinion, right now, it goes Hot Fuzz, then Shaun of the Dead. Currently, um, just from enjoyment and everything. And there was one other thing. Um, yeah, the story. Yeah, I think that the uh, even the conclusion, everything, just the way they wrapped up, was super well done. Yeah, I mean, it's just again a super, super well done well-constructed. Um, oh, and even the references to movies that they mentioned, other movies that they watched right. throughout there, from Bad Boys to, to Breakpoint or Point Break. Um, so yeah, it was just super, super well done, super consistent, and uh, it was just a blast. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, with that being said, are you ready to get into the rating? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, just so you guys know, we go from zero to 10, and we never give out zeros. We never give out tens. Why? Well, because by giving out a zero, you're saying nothing could ever be worse than this movie. And by giving out a 10, you're saying nothing could ever be better than this movie. Both of those things are impossible to say. Five is average. Six is good. Seven is great. Eight is beyond that. Nine is top tier cinema. We do give out decimal points like 9.999 and so on. If we so please, I'm going to give this bad boy a 9.2. I really, really uh, enjoyed it. I think that Something that I will give huge props to this film is that there are a lot of movies out there um, like like John Wick, Kill Bill, mm -hmm. even even some um, other more intense action movies out there that there are a lot of violent moments that make mm -hmm. you like go, oh, shit, and like, whoa. But there is so much violence that you start to be like expecting it a bit. And I felt like yeah. in this movie, they got really violent and then they <clears throat> went back to the the regular tone and it, it yeah. like it made all those violent moments that occurred like 10 times more shocking because we weren't like getting numb to it you know what i'm saying like when that thing fell on that guy holy like oh Dude. my gosh when the bear trap came down there were so Dude. many moments that were just like that that didn't happen often so that when they did happen it was like oh my gosh um so they did a really good job at keeping you engaged and keeping you immersed. This is one of those movies that, like, it's it, when it starts to really get into the thick of it, it you just don't want to take your eyes off the screen. You're yeah. just anticipating what's going to come next. Um, overall, I thought that the pacing was very well done. I'd probably shave off uh, maybe a, maybe like 10 minutes from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, it, it, it'd be a little bit better if they were able to kind of hook the audience a little bit faster. Um, like, and this is just my opinion, but like maybe something where like, you know, I've heard weird things about that town or just something yeah, where, yeah. where I know they want to keep us like thinking it's In a normal dark. town, but yeah. like, 
maybe something, you know, that just because for us, it's just, oh, I guess he's going to go, um, you know, to a smaller town and his job's going to suck. But of course, they did bring it somewhere, which was which was really good. But I feel like maybe 10 minutes, a little bit more spice in the first act would have been uh, an improvement. But yeah, overall, really funny, very well done. Love the transitions, the editing, the shots. They did a really good job with the camera making you feel like certain emotions like you've brought this up with other reviews that we've done where like they can make you feel like woozy or mm -hmm. or or like confused or something like that they did a good job with the with the camera shots as well in this movie and overall um i thought all the acting was was really well done and and had it had a really good um skinner did a really good job at just playing that uh you know that kind of guy that like you're like, I know it's you, but like, yeah. what if it's not you? Like that, like really yeah. kind of like setting the mystery and kind of having that uh, bravado to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, yeah. And it was really cool to kind of see it all from the Britain's perspective, you know, because in America, like guns are, guns are involved from the start. So yeah. seeing it in like the UK and kind of getting the perspective of like, well, we, you know, we kind of chase after people, use melee weapons and all this crazy stuff at the beginning. And it, it made the whole gun uh, aspect in the third act even like more satisfying because it's like we don't give a now you know yeah. what I'm saying but yeah overall I really really enjoyed it uh, I I thought that this was a top tier cinema comedy and something I would have loved to see in the theaters with everybody else what what do you give this yeah I'd probably give it like just under like a nine point one nine point one five if not nine point two um I agree with the violence I think what's also interesting is they kind of like eased us into it like oh there's an axe killing that oh that the the, the the house blew up and then it was like okay no but here's like some real deal like shit <laughs> like yeah. some wild um violence um yeah i think that the camera like kind of like you said some of the shots were super super well done i loved the transitions that they were using throughout it we already talked about how great the storyline was um again the mystery was super dope i think it was interesting too because you, you kind of look at it and you're like, oh, it's just a super friendly small town. But I know like I've been to small towns where it's like it's almost weird because like everyone knows everybody. And it's like, yeah. I feel like there's something off. Like it's almost too perfect. And yeah. you add that layer of like, oh, they've been rated the, the perfect town this many years in a row. So um, it was an interesting twist for it to not be. Oh, it's not just Skinner. Oh, it's actually it's the whole it's the whole uh, Night Watch. But it's not just the Night Watch. Even the chief is in on it. And then even the twists that we thought Danny was with them just to save yeah, that, um, yeah, Angel. That, that guy was going crazy at that part. Yeah. yeah. So um, it was just, again, a very, very well done, well constructed. This was a really good blend of comedy mixed with action. I, again, I think that they did a stellar job making references to the films, even or making references to the previous movie, Shaun of the Dead, um, and then making references to even the movies like that they mentioned inside, which... If you've, I, I guess it would be hard to pick up on if you aren't like aware of some of the tropes in those movies. I mean, mm -hmm. they pointed the one out for yeah. Point Break for us, yeah. but Bad Boys, I kind of, I kind of knew the vibe of Bad Boys. So seeing as like, okay, like that's kind of cool. Um, and yeah, I mean, once again, I think it was just another stellar movie. Definitely my favorite out of the installment so far. Um, and now it makes me want to see the last installment and see where it falls. All right. Well, with that being said, thank you guys again for being here. Thank you for the support. Zay, I know you have a Twitch. Guys, my Twitch will be linked down. Guys and gals, my Twitch will be linked down in the description below. Uh, feel free to tune in, stop by, say hi. Um, just the other, well, by the time you guys have seen this, it'll be a while ago. Cam and I, not too long ago, played a head-to-head -head night. We just played a bunch of games versus each other. Just kind of hung out with chat, chit-chatting. Um, and yeah, it's always a good time, guys. It's another way for you to interact with me and Cameron as well when he's on there outside of youtube and outside of our youtube live streams so feel free to bring questions feel free to ask my opinions feel free to even sometimes we even let you guys know what might be upcoming reactions or things that we're looking at you never know yeah. uh, i know how you can find out yeah gotta check it on out down below uh it is a great time guys really do check it out it's always really cool to see you guys there we're starting to see more and more of you there and the communities are all blending together and they're getting along very well so hop yeah. on over you're more than welcome and with that being said, listen, guys, if you're getting assigned a job in a new small town, maybe talk to people a little bit more. Try to get the vibe out because you never know what's going on on the undertone of everything. So keep an eye out. Stay vigilant. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.
and peace. Peace. Got the bad boys glasses right here, baby.